what's up, Eric Todd? Alrighty. What's up, Tech? Que pasa? Que pasa? Que onda? Que pasa? Que rollo? So I'm just going to start with a little bit of black. We're going to do some skulls kind of all the way around. And then I'm going to put some blue candy over it. So if that's something you like. Yeah. Yeah, I'm live right now. Thank you, Mr. Big Boy. Uh-huh. Big Boy, do what you like. Wait, Tama. Nothing. It just started, so everybody's just saying hi. We'll see. Que pasa? That's what they said? Yeah. You can't, you're, you, you, what, you're farsighted, right? You can't see far. Mm -hmm. So that's another tank, right? So, so it's the near same side. Oh. Yeah, you're near side. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same tank. We just back mask okay. the flames, and now we're going to do skulls and stuff in here. Okay. And then we'll lay some blue candy once we're done. Okay. So that it kind of. How can you do no M and M's and peanuts or something like that? I always skulls. Everybody want M and M's. Uh, why not? Like M and M's, like the candy? Yeah. Why not? Why not a Hershey bar? Yeah. Why not? It's popcorn or something. I don't know. Popcorn. <laughs> why not? It's something different. Because ain't nobody Skittles. like. Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> don't nobody want popcorn on their bike though. That's the thing. Why not? It'll make them different. Because they. Nobody's ever had it, so how do they know what they like? Because nobody's ever had it, because they know they don't want that. They don't know. Nobody ever thought about it. See that? Oh, is that what you want on your bike? Popcorn? Yeah. Yeah, popcorn, peanuts. On the Luminor bike. Oh no, because yeah. we're doing a Black Panther. <laughs> oh okay. But we can do popcorn like behind you. You doing a Black Panther, bro? Mm-hmm. I, I got a Black Panther tattoo right here. No, I'm <laughs> doing the Marvel Black Panther. The more okay, yeah. Not like an action one. Now, the, what you don't use in your uh, spray, you dump it in that milk carton? Yeah, this is like my dump box. Okay. Yeah. What color is that once they all get mixed together? It's black. like like a mud black, like a muddy black, yeah. You ever try spraying that on something, seeing what it really looks like? No. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Might be create your own color. Yeah. Can you stencil it? No, I'm not going to stencil it. So tell me how this skateboard, what happened with the skateboard? <laughs> man, don't bring that up, man. Man, it what was... What do you mean they was dragging it across the street? It was like, like, you ride a skateboard, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> and then they, they go down the street and fall. <laughs> oh. Just scraped it all up. I was like, dude, that came from Cali. That was last, you know. Yeah. I'm going to be able to skate for these people again. He just jerked my crap off. I was ready to kill him, man. Oh. It was bad. I was, I was and crying. They like and lived on your street or something? No, nah, they lived in the other neighborhood. Oh, they always came over. Up in your neighborhood, taking your skateboard. Came in my room. What? Yes. I was ready to choke some people out, man. Did they tell you they could skateboard and you let them buy it? No, I wasn't home. I came home and seen them jacking with my crap. Oh, really? Yeah. Who let them have your skateboard? I think my stepdad did or something. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Trust me, I was pissed. <laughs> That's wild. I was ready to whoop the piss out of him. Oh, and Kenny did bring his prosthetic certificate for his eyes, too. Sure did. It still ain't like, suck all the fluid out. I don't care what nobody's there. Bruh. <laughs> they didn't have to suck the fluid out until you took it. That's what Mike told me. They said that you said. Well, now Mike said that you said that you that? pulled all the fluid out your eyeball. See that? I said that. Why you got to throw me in there? Because you don't want to tell me. That's what he said. They said no. There you go. I said. No, Mike they, said. He said. They Mike. sucked the fluid pouch Mike. out. Say that again. The fluid pouch. They're sitting on your cornea. They took that little pouch out. 
Like I said, it was crazy. You know what? Man. That's why they got Google. <laughs> Bro, go ahead. So I just, I guess I just wish they would have had this made up. I ain't saying. Okay. But that, that, Same way you could Google, I could Google, right? That was in 2004, man. That was a crazy operation, just like I said. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Say, so what's up, Big D, and what's up, Big Ken? What it do? What Can it do? See that? Do I need to make it bigger? Okay, so here's here's the eyeball. Show me what they sucked out. No, bro. He, he didn't suck out anything. Google, what does the, the retina consist of? Or the layers of the eye? I'm sitting there looking at all this stuff right here. I got the front, the back, the side, everything. Uh -huh. Pupil, cornea, iris. Oh, and since you're there, why don't you Google the, the meaning of the word cowboy too, or the <laughs> where it originated from? No, we ain't got none. Give my money back. Big burn. Oh
that needed the booty patrol out here. The booty patrol. The booty patrol, rough shaker patrol, or something. This is Brianna. I'm going to pull the cap down. Let's go. 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 Let
<laughs> Only part of the video was true. Yeah. Now, you're talking about the Lone Ranger. He didn't leave that part. The first day we were talking about was slaves and cowboys, right? But he didn't want to hear that part. <laughs> Jaime was in a car accident. Oh, no! Oh, did you believe what he said? I told you to say that yesterday. I'm not entirely sure. Show him the video and he's going to tell me that ain't right. He's going to tell me that's a Latin origin word. Okay, yeah, it does have Latin origin. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm sure it's a word. Yeah, 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 I'm sure it's a What's up, Air Todd? Suicide? 
No way, I didn't know that. I thought it was a car accident. Oh, that's wild. Thanks, Tech. Uh, amazing pulse. Um, cool, thanks. I'm not really sure what amazing pulse means. <laughs> Thank you. I'm steady? If I'm steady, I'm good. There's a few things going on this left at the time, him losing his shop. Uh, I didn't know all that. I didn't know he had lost his shop, that's, that's why. If that was the case, I would have suicided like seven, eight times by now. Sometimes you just gotta, you know, put your feet back on the ground and, and keep on trucking, so. How long did it take you to notice that you had gotten better at freehand airbrushing? I don't know. For me to actually notice, I'd say it was at least a few years, a couple years. Nowadays, it's probably easier because you can take a picture and then you know you can compare your picture later on. You know, 
digital photos are kind of a new thing. Back when I was, back when I was just learning to airbrush, we had all, all, all the cameras had film. So like, even here we have one of the books and uh, all, the, all the pictures in it were developed from film because that was the only way. So the only way to tell would be like take a picture of something you did and then like later on have the picture and then compare it. Like that's the only way. But for me to actually notice like on my own, um, it's all gonna depend on how much you practice, but I probably, you know, it took me a good year. Helped with you tattooing also, so I don't know. I guess I've always just done what I had to do to keep keep pushing, keep it moving. I just don't know. If, I, uh, I've never worked myself into a position where I thought suicide was the answer. I've contemplated suicide, but I never thought it was the answer. I don't know. Makes me feel worse for high middle. I didn't know all that. I thought it was a car accident. Oh, what up, Bobby? How's it going? Thank you, thank you, sir. Crazy. You 
What's up? He, uh, they got the box. Well, I mean, oh. he got the box, but he got that, uh, he sent me an email. Uh-huh. He's sending you out another one? He said, uh, I'll let you know till you put the sentence together. <laughs> he put, uh, I don't know, your video came through. This time, it sounds like one of the passengers or another component inside may have been damaged by shipping. Looking here at your invoice, it appears you are also seeking someone to clear the phone, signal to take care of this order. Yeah. So, Dave sent you an email? No, that's it. Uh, Oh. Yeah, if SIG is on it, that's good. He's the guy that runs the front desk and stuff. But they're sitting there telling us we'll take it apart and see what's wrong with it? That's not stupid. They're what? Yeah, it's out of California. They're what? Uh, what? But they wanted me to take it apart. When? You said that dude said we were supposed to take it apart. He said we could have taken it apart if you would have had it. I ain't doing it. Wrong fixing. All right, then. I'll see y'all later. Okay, sure, okay. Hey, thank you for the history. <laughs> I know it is. Y'all ain't gonna be right. can't share the feed. That's weird. No, she did. Don't even start. <laughs> 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 
What's up, Chris? How's it going? Mike, he believed the other dude, not me, though. I seen that. I heard him. Yeah. Hey, he didn't want to give you the props until he was like, all right, all right. I have to make sure. Oh, you did your Googling last night. That Google ain't saying that. It didn't link. Slavery. Put the word help. Mike, why do you know you're from? Huh? No, it's not here. Ever since I met you, man, I'm like, oh, I don't know. I was going to say, you're, you're uh, Chantel's boyfriend, yeah? Yeah. 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 Um, It takes as long as it takes, that's all I know.
we tried to paint a skull yesterday, but it didn't look pretty. <laughs> do all this side right here and then I'm gonna do all the other side and then I'll stand it up and we'll do the skulls going here we'll do them standing this way and then we'll do the blue candle so today will be a little bit longer stream Yeah, sorry, Bobby. I don't really have an answer on that one. It's just, you know, it's just going to take as long as it's going to take. I, I just got to keep working on it, and then eventually we're done. It seems like it'd be a long time, but once you're going, it's like, you know, it goes quick. Hey, you leave Getty alone, man. At least he ain't walking around with them glitter shoes that we seen cruising by the other day. <laughs> we probably got some already. <laughs> How's business going? People finally find you in the mall. Do you have signs that you're in the barbershop? Yeah, so we have signs and displays up in the front. Um, we're closed Sundays and Mondays right now because we're kind of still like a COVID kind of thing going on. Um, but t Tuesdays and Wednesdays is probably when I'm going to be doing the live streams because it is when it's kind of like, like right now. We're just chilling. We're not really, there's not really anything going on. I mean, you know, they're over there doing cuts and and it's just a nice chill atmosphere so I could sit back here and just you know do my thing and then on you know Thursdays Fridays and Saturdays it's probably gonna be a little too busy too hectic to stay focused on something like this for that long so that's kind of where we're, how I'm gonna work it for now in order to keep the live streams going because I know you guys like it um, 
so we're going to keep them going just like that. Yeah. But I would say it's, it's going better than it was in my garage for sure. Um, I haven't been able to like or I haven't been promoting as much and we've been making the same or better amount of money just because of the traffic in here um, is pretty good and so this mall kind of sits in between three different military bases so it's like hey what are the, the the three military bases around here Peterson Fort Carson Peterson Fort Carson Air Force Academy the Air Force Academy Shriver uh, the Air, Shriver Air Force Base yeah and NORAD NORAD what, Space Force, where's Space Force? Well, Space based Force is here now, but they're moving it. Oh, all right. Yeah, so we got all of them around here now. That's what the one guy was saying earlier, huh? The only place that would make it make sense for me to move it to would be New Mexico. Like the New Mexico. Because of the White Sands missile range and stuff. That's where they launch all See, the rockets. That's not for the intelligence. Huh? It's no, no, but for launching stuff into space. They launch everything out of New Mexico. That's where both the billionaires launched out of. He said it's going to be here. It makes sense because NORAD is there, but I don't know if they even still use Shreve NORAD. Here too. Yeah, so, here. I don't know. Yeah, how many skulls are you going to put on there? All of it. I'm going to put all skulls on both sides and then across the top. you killing that, bro. Yeah. Now we're going to put blue candy on it. Like no, candy. I mean, like, you're killing it like a good job. Yeah, yeah. We're going to put blue. Why do you say yeah? Because I know. You supposed to say thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. This guy. Yeah. Well, I you're know. You're still alive. Yeah. Y'all see what we had to deal with. <laughs> uh, Put a camera. In. They right. can't see me. You got to be on this side today. Yeah. <laughs> Where is it? It's right here. Y'all see what I had to deal with? I gave him a compliment. And he called me a fat kid, told me I ain't eat good, and I don't eat all my vegetables, and I be drinking too much Kool-Aid, even though I had no Kool-Aid about 15, 20 years. Okay. That's what they say. Yeah. Uh. The Space Command, if Trump would have won, they would have went to Alabama. That was one of Why would they move it to Alabama? Though? Because he was, he was pissed off at our governor. Uh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but that, that one guy earlier was saying they were going to move it to Alabama. Mm. You go. Yep. All right, man. I'm going to see you before you go, I Hello? Uh, so, okay. you want to do lunch or something? Or do you want, I don't know. Just like, you know what I mean? Before I go, or do you want me to just make sure I can move Either way. I'll leave Sunday morning. You're not working right don't now. Don't ask the man. Just bring yeah, him absolutely. lunch. That's there it. you go. Just tell him, yeah. huh? Or just call me yeah, up and say, hey. Uh, possibly pops. <laughs> you hear what I said? Hey, possibly pops. You want to go to lunch or something? <laughs> That's how they see how they do you. Yeah. Just like their brother. I sell my car Friday. I'm supposed to at least. You selling it? Yeah. Cause I ain't trying to pay for that money And I'm just trying. I want. I'm trying to buy something else anyway. Uh, so I'm just gonna sell. What you selling? Huh? What you selling? My Malibu. Uh, oh yeah, huh? Okay. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I won't have a car. Friday afternoon, probably. Oh, hit me up. Well, you got my number. Then we, maybe we'll go do some Saturday night, go to strip club or something like that. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. said okay? Uh, Wrong well, answer. Okay. That's not a good answer. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good answer. 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 Yeah, that's not a good answer.
fucking This guy. Go talk shit on town, shit on Be like, I'm down to go. Strip club. Immediately, I was like... Um, you I was tell her. I'm not telling her. That was a setup question. <laughs> you know like, what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I love you. All right, love you too, man. Huh? Right, uh. Why you I tell her that? <laughs> hey, see, he caught. He lied. He told the story. Big gas, man. <laughs> uh, he said it was Gucci. <laughs> 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 All right. But they Good guess. Good you, man. Good meeting. You came to, I called it, though, didn't I? You did? Yes, you sir, I did. It? Yes, sir, yeah. I did. What? I said, uh, Mr. Kenny over there with the G shoes, you know, Kenny G. And he said, yeah, he said, yeah they, they, they Gucci. Oh, really? <laughs> I said, they Gucci a guess? He said, they Gucci. I said, all right. <laughs> then he pulled the shoe off and said, it's a guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they could have been Gucci, but they ain't. Uh, they could have been, he said. Man, I go to this site. Would you pay $3,000 for a pair of loafers? Oof. I wouldn't pay $5 for loafers because I'm flat footed. I can't wear loafers. Oh, okay. Okay. Bruh. But no. <laughs> no, sir, I wouldn't. Yeah. That's a lot of money. Bruh. I'm like, who in the hell wearing? Loafers that cost that much. But see, that's them dudes that they get stimulus check and they go blow it on some shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and then they can't eat the rest of the money. Bruh, it is crazy. I, <laughs> I seen some, it, you know, it, they're it's nice. It's though. Yep. They're nice, but three grand? Come on. It's like those dudes that buy the brand new sports car then drive up to their apartment and park it outside. You know? <laughs> Bobby. Bobby says, Mike's the best. Oh, yeah. You mean, oh, yeah. I know. You ain't supposed to say I know. Oh, You're oh, supposed oh, to say oh, thank you. Thank you, Bobby. There you go. <laughs> I like to use the shoe. Oh, yeah, because I had the shoe propping it up. Okay. What shoe? This shoe over here. On the other side, you see I used the tape. On the other side, I had the shoe stuck in there so uh, I could hold it up. What's up, Will? What's up, Will? Willie Will? I guess we're going to start league pool here in a little bit. Are you getting a league? I've been in a league, bro. You know, Phil. I probably know him by face. They call him Tree. He got the barbecue thing? No, bright skin, skinny brother. No, nah, man. Okay. He was big. They used to call him Tree because he's like yeah. big as a tree. Yeah, he got he got a Thursday team and a two. You mean team. Big Lou has a twin? Team. No, this dude's big. He's not. He's taller. Taller. Uh, yeah, but back in the day, he used to knock people out too. He was. They used to call him Tree. Big old light skin dude. He's a, he's an ex man. They got like a big old family here. I mentioned Big Lou, he's gonna walk in and watch. When I, when he's I, off today. Oh, he is? Remember, he switched. Oh, he's supposed to work Wednesday, but he worked Tuesday for the other day. When I apply for his team, G. He works yeah. two jobs in here? Or just no. one? One. But his boss, like, let's say I'm supposed to work and I have a doctor's appointment and you work for my day, so we just yeah. switch. Oh, okay. Switch so, what do you mean? Uh, he is. What's that afterward? I don't know. Bobby, what you mean, man? He is what? He is the best. <laughs> no, there's something afterwards. Oh, that's an exclamation. Let me get over here. I can't see. <laughs> you see up at the top right over there, there's a little zoom thing. You can zoom it in more if you want. This? Yeah, that little. Just push the plus. More. Is that big enough or you want more? How much for a haircut? He'll come from North Carolina just to get one. Twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five. Actually I should be charging anywhere from seventy five to hundred. Based on the fact that I'm a celebrity barber. At least. Yeah. yeah. I'm a, I'm agree with you on that. Since I've cut celebrities, so many celebrities, I'm supposed to get paid more, but 
I feel as though everybody's trying to make an honest living. You ain't got to get rich off one person. That's that's exactly the right way to think. When I, yeah. when I first met Phil, you know, I go in and bring the same stuff in. And, you know, we shoot him. And he start naming off pieces of where he lived. I said, Phil. Uh oh. I said, where you from? Sacramento. Straight up home for I'm the North Man here on the top of me. <laughs> He's ready to go riding, isn't he? Okay, well, be careful, man. Okay, bro. Now you could go around and educate people yourself. Let them know where the word cowboy came from. Well, I, I, that's, that's what I do. All right. And there I won't jump into something unless I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Was he right, though? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He was right. All right. Yeah. Man, you damn good with that person. You know that? Yeah, a little bit. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You good, yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what is it? Is this a gas tank up here? Oh, no, what is that? Yeah, it's just a little display gas tank. Okay. Just All a right. little tiny one. All right. Yeah. This is our light up paint up here. See how that's flashing? Uh -huh. That's paint that's lighting up. You should go and get you a moose head. Though, Why a moose? A Why moose head? Moose? What's wrong with a moose? Why everybody want to cut a moose head off? Moose hey, don't bother you nobody. You cut a moose head off, man. Why a moose, though? Why not a moose? I mean, I guess why not, but why? I think mooses are cool. Do we moose have moose around mean. here? Yeah. We, we do? got moose in Colorado. Dude, you got some big ass elks around here. Yeah, too. I know we have elks and stuff. But <laughs> you know, I'm still the reason I do a lot of hiking up there in Garden of the Gods. They, they say they got them big horn rams up there. Yeah, I'm laying dead to get a picture of one of them. Really? There. Yeah, they're up there. They're up in the high. I'm, and that's the way I'll be going. I take the the. Uh, you cut not the Yukon Trail, Dakota Trail. It cuts back this way and cuts up. You go around, you go around, you go around, you go around. Before you get to the Ballasin Rock, you cut back in and go to the center of the park. That's how black people get ate up by mountain lions. Yeah. Bro, that's how, that's how them black people get ate up. They don't carry their nine with them. Mm -hmm. Man, half them things, you you going to have to really hit one to knock them down. Bro, I'm okay. good. 
Alright. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you what you ain't, but Bruh, you come I'm up good. missing, we know why. I got ten shots to hit you in your head. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> but you thought I was up there protected. Bruh, I'm not messing with none of that <laughs> wildlife. That's why they call it wild life. It's wild. I'm good. Hey, look, I got Smith and Wesson, ten shot, nine millimeter pistol. <laughs> Mine only got six. Hey, and I, I just picked up me a nice three, 308, look just like my nine. Mm. It's not as big as my nine. I got a 45. And Old if I miss you with six shots, I ain't supposed to hit you. Old school 45? Mm. That's it right there. <laughs> Real talk. If I got six shots and I miss you, bro, I don't take what you need to take. I'm cool. Don't let me reload, though. At that point, you'd be like, yeah. I'll help you load the TV. Yeah. You good? <laughs> got some, got some uh, wireless speakers to go with it if you want it. Yeah. When I was in the Army, I was a TC. I TC the M1 tank. I had a Colt 45 and an M16. Yeah. In the rack. Yep. Mm -hmm. He said you you paint the other tins of the of the bike. What was that? He asked him, are you painting the other tin? Uh, no. So this bike. is just a display tank for the front. We uh, we did the other one. Was it like last week or two weeks ago? I did the other one last week, whatever. And then so this will be another one because the other one just has candy graphics, and this one will have the flames with this. And then we're gonna do like the Harley Davidson logo over the top. And then, yeah, just a different you put display. Harley on there. Yeah. What happened to the peanuts? <laughs> what M peanuts? M&M's? Yeah. I mean, we can make, like, the red M&M when we're done. Over the skulls, we'll put the red. Yeah, everybody like the red M&M and the we'll green M&M because &M yeah. she's sexy. We'll put <laughs> him squashing the yellow M&M. It's Ronda Rousey. Breaking the peanut inside the yellow M&M. I did. That way, we'll have a peanut and M&M's all in the... Yeah. yeah. Or you can have an M&M without the peanut. Doesn't the yellow one have the... Is the the yellow one got the peanut, the red one don't. Yeah, well, we could have the red one stepping on the yellow one, breaking the peanut open. Well, what you could do is have a red one and make him look like the yellow one. What? And make him look like he got a peanut in there. He pregnant. <laughs> he pregnant now. Yeah. All right. I didn't want to say that. I wasn't sure. She's pregnant there. Uh-huh. Yeah, she's pregnant right now. Uh-huh. She cool as heck, though. Ronda Rousey. Uh she can whoop some ass though. Yeah, she was she, she was a, some dude grab her in the alley somewhere. They in trouble. But if you talk to her in real life, she's a sweetheart, yeah. man. She yeah, really is. I can imagine. She's a good person. But what I've seen. Uh -huh. You are sitting there chopping it up. She's, uh -huh. She seemed like a real sweet girl. But her boyfriend, he cool as heck too. Okay. Her husband now. Okay. Travis Brown, he's a beast. So what do you think about that fight, uh, Kimmy Taylor and Roberto Duran? What do you think about that? Who? Kimmy Taylor, you ain't never heard of him? Nah, you talking about you? <laughs> <laughs> you bet you'd have a better chance of Rod jumping over the mall than whooping Roberto Duran. <laughs> uh, tell me he didn't feed into that. Nah, I'm sitting there with Kimmy Taylor. <laughs> I was trying to think too. I was like, "Have I heard about that fight?" I was like, "No, no." Nah, I <laughs> That's some demons, man. Huh? <laughs> yeah. You got footwork and all that, man. Why do skulls look like skulls, man? Should I make one look different? They all we, look like we, skulls. We could hide one in there that just looks like an alien or something. Just put yeah. a hybrid one in that there. That one right there is the start of an alien right there. This one? Yeah. Just give it too little. Give him them alien eyes, man. Hey, y'all. I'm out for real. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I might let you have the pleasure and opportunity of seeing me again tomorrow. Uh, you know what? Later. Thank you for blessing us with your grace and your presence. Yeah. Anytime. Bro. You know, I wouldn't know what to do if you ain't come by here. Oh wait, man! My I'm day would my, head up that big, my man. day would not be complete. You hey, know let what? Me see, can I push it down? I think if you didn't come by, you gonna have to sleep with your head off the side of the, the bed, just so your head to be even with your body. 
But uh, because it is perfectly round. Perfectly round. <laughs> yes. I don't know where you obtain such a perfectly <laughs> shaped head that it's a head. Hey, hey man, it was moldy. Y'all have a good day. Yes, yes sir. Have a good one, Kenny. He said, "Wow." <laughs> man, what is the hope for rain in a couple of days? It's gonna be hot. Well, that's what I got to look forward to. Man. Yeah, but it, it'll be your shop. You, you're gonna hang out in. You won't be going into somebody else's shop, dude. I, I tell you, you just come up here and sit on the couch like every day, every day. See, is there like an old folks home around here, or he just lives around here or something? I don't know what. Yeah. There was three of them. Mr. Dave, he, uh... I don't know. Today, when we were leaving, you know how we went around that park? You see that big building on the left-hand side of the street, like, next to the highway? Yeah, yeah. That's the old folks' home. And there's oh. a... The one black dude that walks by the house, he's the only one I've ever seen. Yeah. But he always stops and talks to us, too. He's just like, hey, how's it going? Go to the store, no more. You know, but... There was three of them. Yeah. Yeah. So... There you go. There's your alien hitting in. Like, yes. <laughs> He's good. Bobby Bobby said you guys are cool. Y'all having too much fun in there. Yeah. <laughs> the beats being in the garage by myself, that's for sure. Okay, challenge. A M and M skull. So imagine an M and M dead. How would that look? I don't know. That is... He got eyes and a mouth. He ain't got no nose. A square ass skull. I mean a circle. It'd be a circle with some eyes and a mouth. He went in on nose. Yeah, have some big old eyes and, and a mouth And then he have too. an M&M. The M&M logo on it. Yes. <laughs> he just went in no arms and that. Yeah, you... That's funny. Thinking outside the box, man. I wonder why it's so slow lately. I don't know. A lot of them kids are back in school. Are people actually trying to go back to work, you think? No. That's the only thing I could think of. Is like maybe, nah, maybe our people are working. It's like, nah, probably it's out on the boat or something, chilling. <laughs> so, do you explain to the people in TV land or YouTube land the pressure that you uh, airbrush at when you're doing uh, tanks versus t-shirts and things of that nature? Yeah, if they ask, I tell them what pressure I'm using and stuff. I try not to say too much because sometimes it gets more confusing than it helps. So I'll, like this live stream, right? Mm -hmm. I'll be doing this and then I'll talk about how I lowered the pressure. It's like a 25 or something right tell now. Tell why? Well, the, I tell them because I'm working close and I reduce the paint. So the paint's a little thinner and I want to get it nice and close to get some nice fine lines. So it does right. a spider? Yeah. yeah. But then people will take that same thing that I said for this and then try to apply it to a t-shirt. Like, so it gets a little confusing. So unless they ask specifically, I try not to mention too much. I just talk about the colors I'm using and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, the reduction, I've, I've kind of pulled back from doing that too much because some of them I've seen people do stupid shit just based off of the videos that I've I've made and then they go and make their video or whatever. And it's just like, that's what I said in my video, but he's doing it on a shirt. And that's the wrong way to do a shirt. You're not supposed to do that. Right. Yeah. So, like the reducer. This reducer is good for the, any of these paints if you want to get it work in nice detail right? and if you're going to clear it. But as soon as you add the reducer to the t-shirt paint and then you try to press it, it doesn't, it doesn't stick as well. It like fades out and like has a really... You know, it reduces the binding. So you should reduce it when working on metal. Yeah, if you're working and you want to get in fine, yeah. nice detail. But not on cloth. Yeah, not on cloth, no. Not on leather, not on cloth, not on... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because so. I know that with metal, I have to really reduce yeah. the uh, pressure. I didn't know if they knew that in YouTube land. Yeah, a lot of them know already, but once in a while, you'll get a new person that pops in, and he'll be like, hey, what pressure are you using here? Or what paint? Yeah. Even though it says right on the side of the screen, you know, Createx colors, mm -hmm. people will still come in and ask, you know, 
What paint are you using? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's barely split open and chunks fly off the M&M. Oh my gosh. That would look cool. <laughs> well, you might just put him halfway eating it and his, and his gut's falling out. You know, bite the M&M in half? <laughs> yeah. And have him sitting there and just everything's fall out. Yeah, I'd work too. I don't know. You know, that turned really dark. <laughs> it did, didn't it? <laughs> he said, Mike, don't confuse him. He cuts hair. <laughs> I airbrush too. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. So, I don't know if you were here yesterday or when we were doing the stream yesterday, but Donnell has been airbrushing here in this mall for 20 years. So when I was, I think it was 15, turning 16 at the time, I worked with Donnell. That was like my very first airbrush job. And uh, he's kind of the one that kind of molded me into what I am now in a way. So, yeah, he's been airbrushing longer than I have, and he's had this shop this whole time. So I any questions you have, too, about airbrushing, you could ask, and then he'll try to chime in with his expertise because he does know how to airbrush really good, so. Hey Mike, what color are you using? Ah, oh, I don't know, it looks like red. I'm using a lot of red right now. <laughs> Maybe they got a black and white TV. <laughs> no, they, they like to talk shit. Uh. Once in a while you'll get a troll come in start saying some racist shit or something. Really? Yeah. I didn't know they sold airbrushes in Mexico. Really? Yeah. Where did you steal those airbrushes from? Yeah. <laughs> that kind of shit. Yeah. See, that's probably why I don't have no YouTube channel because I'd be ready to fight. Like, where you at? You yeah. Get a little locator on you. I'm gonna be at your house. Yeah, it's that internet, uh, you know, secrecy everybody hides behind. I've been saying for a while, like, your Facebook account, like your YouTube account, should be tied to like a real ID. Because mm -hmm. if you go on there and you say some stupid shit, or you know, yeah, yeah, they should be able to find your ass and be like, "That was you." Yeah, yeah. You look like that guy. Yeah. yeah. What's up, Funky Farmer from the Netherlands? Love skulls, right on, right on, right on. When I was tattooing, they would be like, oh, we're doing some skulls, and I go over to him. <laughs> I don't have a shirt that has a skull, nothing. I don't nothing? Own, I don't own anything that has a skull. Nothing. Yeah, I don't really like wearing too much stuff with skulls on it. I don't know, stencils, none of that. Skulls are like kind of one of the most popular things that people like yeah. to watch. Uh, and I know if we put it up there, it's going to get all them white people... Yeah, I mean, the, we talk like this all the time. Uh, White people, black people, Asian people, because everybody's different. We don't say it in a racist way, but, you know, you can't deny the differences. Like, if I say your skin's darker than mine. No, it's not. You know, I'm... <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, so, damn, I'm getting a ticket. Get a cut and some air breast lessons. Come on, come on. That girl that came in yesterday too, she went and left a review on Google after. Oh, for real? Yeah, she left a five star review and stuff. We normally have like a five star thing. Yeah. I think it was on Facebook though, we had five stars or something. Yeah, I got five stars on Facebook and Google. Then I had some random person text me last night. I don't know where they got my number or what, but they're like, you ever lived in Nebraska before? I reply, who's this? And then no more replies to that, but all right. No, I've never lived in Nebraska before. In case you're watching, whoever you are. Say public comments from private accounts. Public comments from private accounts, yeah, yeah. 
Exactly. Oh, that's the people that they don't want you to know. Yeah, they don't. On. They don't know. They don't want you to. You just say whatever, and you think there's not supposed to be a consequence. What was uh? I don't even know his name. Uh, Chantal's boyfriend. I call him Greasy. Greasy? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you call him that? Because every time he comes... Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> oh, no. I got to cut you here, right? Yeah. And they have this this grease called Murray's. Yeah. Comes in an orange can. Anybody out there, if y'all know what I'm talking about, y'all know. I know. I've seen it. You're supposed to use like a quarter-sized dollop and rub it in your hands real good and put it in your hair, right? A quarter-sized? It's just a quarter. Yeah, that's big though. That's a, a big chunk of grease. Yeah. But it's flat, you know, like yeah. a little dollop, right? Yeah. And yeah. it goes a long ways. They say you buy a can last your lifetime. Yeah. This joker will put it in his hair every day. Oh, snap. Then he come in to get a haircut, and it's like an oil slick. I'm trying to cut his hair, jacking up my clippers. So I start calling him greasy. I'm like, dude, every time you come in your head greasy. Yeah. You know, wash your head before you come in. Oh, man, I ain't got that. I washed it the other day. Dude, there's a ton of grease here. I can't even put anything in my hair because then my everything gets stuck to it, like all the dirt. Oh, dude, his yeah. his hair was like unreal, and I'm like, like you see how the chemical he had in his hair then, right? Yeah. But I just did the bottom part, so it was okay. But so I start calling him greasy. His name is Jarrell, though. Oh, yeah. And that's kind of weird now. Why? What do you mean? Because he dated my daughter. Oh. He's a good kid. Don't get me wrong, but it's just. I know not, too much not, about not, him. Yeah, not what you thought, huh? So I, I know way too much about him, so. He seems like a cool guy, though. No, he's cool. Painted Eminem's Skelebrity style, was that? What? Painting it. Celebrity style. <laughs> What's that? Uh, I don't know if he's making fun of you because he said you were a celebrity barber. Oh. <laughs> or if they're just because it's a skull. I don't know. Mm. The last person I say I saw it, in an indoor slot meet cut hair and airbrushed. Uh, we're not in an indoor swap meet, though. Nah, we're in the mall. Yeah, this is a mall mall. High dollar pay for this spot mall. Like Hot Topics, like right right there, and we're right next to T-Mobile. Yeah, and, and Aeropostale. Yeah. This mall still has a JC Penney's. That lets you know how good this mall's doing. I think Air Todd just don't like me. He keep coming for me, huh? He is, that's how he is. He was with me like that too. Was first. he? Yeah. He tries to jab you every chance he gets. Yeah. He goes, yeah. He's like, there's an opening. Uh, uh. Yeah. He's yeah. ready with him, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I can show you pictures, like for real. This whole shop is full of pictures. Uh, right on, Bobby. We'll see you later. Have a good day. Thanks for stopping in. Eric Todd, don't get him started with pictures because he'll be over here Man. showing you. Yeah. Got a shop full of pictures. <laughs> he'll start he'll go over there and start taking them off the wall just to show you. No, I ain't gonna just... show him. Me... Air Todd, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Is that like Air Buck's brother or something? <laughs> oh my gosh. Now you're going to get into it. Air said, I'm just saying. Just saying what? <laughs> First he said I can't airbrush. Now he say I can't cut hair. I don't know. How many years has it been cutting hair now? I used to cut my own hair. Yeah, I know that, but... Like actually with the like cutting for people here. And this mall, 20 years. Cutting hair? You weren't cutting back when I was here. I was cutting in the back illegally. 
Cool, I shouldn't do that. Nah, it was right. It's, it's way past the... I was in the back. Yeah. See, I still remember when Will and stuff was... Mm-hmm. Half time Will wouldn't show up. Man, he, he was, was on it. When I was here, he was on it, that boy. Shh, that dude. Man. His was, wife would walk him in like, here you go, go to class. You didn't hear about that, huh? No. Oh, my God. What happened? She, she, uh, I don't know. I've been married a long time. But there's no way my wife could leave in a set of clothes, and I don't see her for three or four days, and she comes back smelling rosy fresh with the same clothes on and I don't know where you've been at. You left me with the kids and everything. Rosie Fresh. Yes. Said. Huh. You've been gone three, four days. And you ain't stinking or nothing? Huh. Yeah. But she don't have family here or nothing? No. She oh, had a yeah. dude. She scuffing wheel up. Yeah. Took his mom's car, brought it back. The airbag was deployed. Really? She seemed so quiet when I met her. But then again, how many kids did they have? Since they was not quiet at. No, it was nah. a badass kid. Yeah. She had like seven of them. Yeah, I just remember Will like cutting my hair because it grew so fast. He's like, hey, you just tell everybody I cut it. It's like, all right. What he said, I never said you could airbrush. Oh! <laughs> oh, like Michael Lavalley's celebrities are. Oh, okay, yeah, I get it. I haven't seen, well... Since Mike was around, I haven't seen those. So he was doing like uh, the famous people, mm. but he was doing like half the face, like skulls out, and like the other side kind of like zombie, like kind of going in. Uh, it was looking dope. He was he did like uh, Clint Eastwood and a bunch of people. That'd be a good one to do, man. Yeah. I have to turn this into a two-parter. Just finish this side, and then we'll come back tomorrow and do the top and the candy. What do you guys think? Or should I just keep going? I said, why all them skulls look like skulls? <laughs> we'll see how many people ever point out the little alien. Probably little Easter eggs in there. And that stuff really stops it from the tip dry, huh? Yeah. You see, you pick a tip yet. Well, I'm constantly picking the tip, licking my fingers. But I've been doing it with this. Uh, Do this, and then if I blow it out... It's, it's the paint's wet enough. You see that if you blow it out, it kind of takes it off on its own. Okay. So it doesn't really stick. That reducer does a lot of stuff, man. One of these days, you have some time. You grab one of those metal panels and prep it up. And sit over there. You said I might not be around. I might not be around. Why? What happened? Where are you going? So do you airbrush too, uh, Air Todd? He's a master, man. Master what? Bader? <laughs> he knows all the famous painters. Uh, Air Todd was working at uh, SeaWorld before... Uh, before COVID hit. You know, oh, well. Yeah, never got his job back. Try to tell him something. He ain't really wanting it. How you doing, man? Welcome to your head, baby. Welcome to your head, baby. All right? How you doing? Great, hungry, good. Who did 
Still sagging this pants with that belt? Oh you man. Right? No, I'm not sagging. Hey, on your way? Yeah, bro. My That's not. <laughs> he keep pulling one and pulling again. Yeah, I like oh, it. You just did it. It's because if it's up on his waist, then he can't floss the belt, so. No, he can't show his underwear. His underwear's not showing? No, well, because he just pulled them up, but they were down lower. He got I'm sure he's not out here trying to like show his thong off. So nah, he got some he got some athletic sport situation underwear that everybody wearing it costs like thirty forty dollars and knowing they ain't got no job. Where you work at? <laughs> Case in point. What? You got something in underwear too? You heard me. You got some designer underwear? You know. He's still trying to figure out the question. You mean like a YouTube video? Yeah. yeah. Your belt yes, sir. Forward, ain't it? Yeah, if you sit on this counter over yeah. here, people will see you. Who belt is it? Go for it, it's too hot in Detroit. Are you live? Yeah. What up, live? What's your boy? It's your boy, he says. <laughs> yeah, at least at least he knows how to talk to the camera already. So. Well, how do you interview? Attire. So how you gonna ask me about a job and you ain't got no attire? Is there a barber school here in town? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does it cost money? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can learn from the best. I can teach you, but you still gotta go get your license. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not having a license. You'd be Doing making what? more. You'd be making more money in here than any drugs you'd be selling. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> Well, you should. How about that? <laughs> Start selling the uniform to wear some belts is yours and some other stuff. This belt would look nice. Let me wear it. Would look nice. And then your money, you got your money watered up? Yes. That look like some weed in there. Pull it out. Pull it out. That's in the wrong pocket. No, you're reaching in the wrong pocket now. I just look like this. Huh? You gonna pull it out of that little pocket? Yeah, so let me see that money. No, not that one. You got some weed in there, don't you? Tell the truth. That's, that was wrapped up in a dollar. I just look stupid, don't you? No. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Eh? <laughs> Ain't nobody giving you the benefit of the doubt. No, because. <laughs> yeah, I know. And he started, you know how you had a little pocket? Yeah. Over your pocket? Yeah. I seen it in there, and it's rolled up with the end folded, so obviously uh, something in it. And then I said, show me money. He trying to dig down in the other pocket, <laughs> like I can't see that pocket. <laughs> okay, uh, mess around, smoke your life away. You ain't gonna be sexy like me when you get We airbrush anything you want, Will.
So what do you smoke weed for? To sleep? Then go to sleep. <laughs> a lot of my friends wonder why I have so much stuff. It's because I don't do stupid stuff like that. It's one thing to think about. It's another thing to act upon. I'm just telling you this. I'm a grandfather. I tell you. I know. You should have never started. And, and in these streets, I was one of the coldest. With these hands. And I couldn't walk the streets. I choose a different life. I just want a better life for you, that's why. I want a better life for And they got a whole bunch of jails lined up waiting on them. A whole bunch of them. And they don't discriminate. Black, white, Asian, 
Mason Young, wherever you live, they got some room for you. And if they ain't got room, they'll make room for you. So what you need to do is make sure you get your education. Leave the streets alone. And focus on being something. These white kids already got a plan, but you don't even think about it. Little white kid, what you gonna do, man? How the kid come to you and say, Keep letting me go. And he said, When I turn 15, I'm gonna get a job working at McDonald's. And then when I graduate, I'm gonna go to school and be a barber. He's 11 years old. He's telling me this. I was like, this little kid got a plan. Blonde hair, blue eye, white boy. I'm what like, wow. Not to be getting high. And I don't know about you, but if you hide your damn thing, you can't cut my hair. And let me get a lineup. Yeah, line up y'all crooked. Or he'll be like that dude that came in the other day. He just kept going higher. He just kept going higher and higher. <laughs> like what? Yeah. Big D throwing some knowledge. That's all he does all day long. He tries to help everybody all day long. And most of the people, like 90% of the people come in here, just try to blow him off and act like he don't make no sense. And it's just like, he's just trying to help you. Didn't like a bust him in the head. Mm -hmm. Or you'll sit there and go, Oh, he got a hundred forty thousand dollar car. How you get that? You gotta be selling drugs. No, how about I went to work and save my money? And I wasn't partying and putting all my kind of crap in my body and all this other crap. Mm -hmm. And that's why I look so sexy. I'm trying to tell y'all, I'm sexy. <laughs> right. They laughed, but Amber Rose was like uh, all up on his know. nuts earlier. I already know. <laughs> I already know. It's a whole family. The real Amber Rose was in here earlier. And Dee was over there hollering at her. She was in the mom. Yeah. Her family lived here. Her dad lived here, her stepmom, and her brother. Her brother went to school at Mitchell. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you got you, you at that you at that threshold from being a kid and an adult. You don't stay a kid for so long. Then you start making adult mistakes that's going to last the rest of your life. Yeah, you're only going to be cute for so long. And then after that, people are going to be like, that guy's dumb. He's yeah. just doing stupid shit. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He ain't cool no more. The coolness only goes so far. And then I'm going to tell you this. You got the felony and stick to the light. They tell you that? Ain't nobody told you that. Who told you that? Because you're a minor. That's also not true. Your record doesn't get completely cleared. They can still no, see that, that you were a troublemaker all the way up to then. Oh, yeah. And if you do something while you're over 18, they'll hold that all accountable. Like yeah. you're, you're a habitual because you were... Since you were a kid, you were doing shit. So they'll lay the hammer on you, yeah. It's like, you catch a high charge. They say I'm like, you're taking me, right? And you're taking me, right? And you catch a charge. You still go to duty just to go to court. And then you get some back. Yeah, adult. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's what the story is. We're making stupid decisions. You know what they say? What you eat, I don't shit. So whatever you do, that's gonna be on you. Hey, Dad, you call me? Hey, Dad, who was man? I'm calling you from jail. I said, what kind of bird can't fly? What kind of bird can't fly? Penguin. Penguin. What else? Ostrich. Ostrich. What else? A chicken, and what else? A peacock. They can get up in the tree. They can't fly though. Okay, a, a peacock, what else? Huh? <laughs> <A> jailbird. <laughs> a jailbird can't fly. <laughs> so that's what you want to be. Uh, a kiwi bird can't fly either? 
The jailbird damn sure can't fly. <laughs> Yeah, they were going nowhere. Yeah, so that, that's not that life, man, I'm telling you. All these dudes running around here looking like rappers, and they fail to realize the rapper don't look like that all the time. You do that for y'all to see it. Jay-Z. Thug, 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 right? Jay-Z. You ain't seen him when you sitting in, in your corporate meetings, clean cut. Yes, sir, I didn't think we can make that happen. Indubitably. That's how they be talking. They get the deal. Once they get the deal, they can go back and that flash next stupid with you, Dr. Drake. So his beat, a billionaire. You think he was in there with his pants sagging, acting crazy? Exactly. Who's that? Uh, uh, P. Diddy. He faked it until he made it. Dude was broken in, he borrowed the land, but he borrowed cars and penthouses and stuff to try to get Biggie on the whole nine. You didn't read the story? Yeah. Guarantee ain't none of them dudes running around here with their drawers and their ass hanging out. Because every time I see one of y'all looking like that, I'd be like, damn, and I'll remember you. Now, if you some average kid come in, man, can I get a job? Like, you got those dude had his pants all around his ass, huh? Nah, no, I'm good. I'm gonna go hire Michael. <laughs> little clean cut guy. Facts. I mean that's that's the that's the reality of it though. That's yeah. what you're up against. Yeah. Anytime you apply for a job, they're looking at you right from the minute you ask for the application. They're gonna look at your shoes, the, your haircut, everything. Yes. Look yeah. at your head. You're the worst person in the world not to have a haircut. Yes. You're the worst person in the world that, that, that does not have a haircut. Because you get free haircuts with designs or whatever you want. Free. Help me, help me to understand. I've never charged you for a haircut. Want a haircut? Blah, blah. Can I get a haircut? Come on, get a haircut. I'm going to never told you no. Because I care about your appearance, but if you don't care, I'm supposed to care. Well, speaking of which, you're going to have to cut my hair again because wife was up. You go, your hair is already growing back. She it doesn't, liked it. Yeah. She, she was like, it doesn't look as nice and stuff. And, and we were at Aspen, too. She kept, like, rubbing the back of my yeah. head and shit. I was just like, what's wrong with you? That feels nice. I was like, okay. That's a nice way of saying, hey, keep, keep that look. Yeah.
And he said his mom way. made him the, hair, the appointment too, so. His mom know better. Hey, I said my mom. <laughs> he said it was my mom's, but it was really me. <laughs> Born, his uh -huh. mom made me stop buying clothes. Why? I was bringing 55 gallon trash bags of clothes over there, brand new with tags. Oh, a smack. Everything. You was hooking them up good, huh? That was my first. Yeah. Got his name tattooed on me. Only one out of four. Yeah. And then look how you looking. <laughs> you look straight. That's it? Okay. I'm doing you. you know what so bad was? We wouldn't even talk about your haircut at first. We're talking about your pants. My pants? Ain't that what we're talking about? Dad, you smoking weed. Uh-oh. Sorry about that kind of thing, you know? I remember these days. He tried to put me like I was stupid. Gonna have some dollar bill rolled up. He's trying to be honest. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, hey, yo, scrap. Hey, I ain't been you before. Hey, I'm gonna tell you what my parents and always tell me, and I tell my kid. He once was your age. Thank you. I've been him before. He ain't never been me. <laughs> he trying to get to be me. I've been him before. Boy, that's a fact. Yeah, have a great day, man. Right, you too, now. Uh, hmm? How do you know? I, I don't know. I'm like that. I'm connected to you. I love you. Trying to have an age limit. <laughs> can only knock you out from this age to that age. I, I, and then I, I have I, respect. If you're too young, you're too old, I'll, I'll cut it there. I'm trying to think who that was. They were talking to me crazy. And I said, dude, you're the same age as my older brother. And they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I knock your head off, I'm not going to feel bad. Yeah. I fought my older brother all the time. Yeah. That's too easy. If you're way older, that's different. You know what I'm saying? Hey, respect, whatever. Do wrong by the business. Unless you put your hands on me, then you the same age as me. I still think it's funny that guy never came back. Which one? The one you was arguing with that one day. Because he already, I, I whooped him a couple times in the gym already. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't even come back to try to argue or nothing. He's just like, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I told him, because the other dude that went off, and he kept going off, and I said, dude, you're being disrespectful, you know what I'm saying? You must have forgot who you're talking to. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I said, dude, you know, I like to fight. That's what I, I know, I'm sorry, man, I apologize. Ooh. Sorry, I didn't mean disrespect. And then he had his kids calling me uncle. Hey, uncle. Okay, uncle. <laughs> yeah. Need haircut, uncle. Yeah, you just trying to save your dad and get his head knocked off. Yeah, you gotta have a job to buy some forces, so how you gonna get them if you ain't got no job? Mm. That should be the worst answer in the world. Man's on his own, too. Because you're going there looking like that. What you 
screw this whole song? You could have been mowing lawns. Why you gotta work for somebody? Did you ask for one? Who? Did you ask me? Oh. Wow. Let me see. I got this man has the power to be anything he wants in life, and he's just doing everything to not be anything. Huh? I got. I got. You have the best like support structure. Yeah. And you just like. I mean, I'm coming in here now. Dude, I got two. I mean, yeah. How old are you? Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. I got two lawnmowers sitting in my shed. I got three lawnmowers. I promise the guy that came here, he got two of them out of his ranch farm thing. And I got another one sitting in my in my trailer. Yeah. It's five lawnmowers. Three weed eaters. Two You got two blowers, healthy looking dudes right here. Two hands. They could have already like scavenged or what is it called? Um, when they go door to door. Uh, what's the word? Soliciting. Yeah, they could have already like scouted out a neighborhood yeah. and had it, you know, oh, four wait, or five wait, cuts. Wait, though. Yeah. You can't find a lot more, but you can find some weed. Oh. <laughs> How'd that work out? Well, think about how much money you spent on weed. You might have been able to buy your lawnmower from a pawn shop That's and right. upgrade. What you mean you tried? They built like two hundred dollars. How much was weed? Twenty dollars. So add that up. You adding that twenty up. No, but a minute ago you said it was four. Okay, it's eighty dollars. So if you had eighty dollars and you went to a pawn shop and said, "Look, I only got eighty dollars. I want to get this lawnmower and I'll, I'll mow some lines and pay you the rest of it." You think they would work with you? Work with you as a kid? Yeah. And then now you're working for yourself. Then you get so many lines that you might have to hire this dude. Now you working for you. Man, I'm gonna give you half of whatever you make. You're using my lawnmower, I'm gonna give you half. So that half turns into a hole after a while, right? So now you get the money he making, because you already make your money. You take his money that you profiting off of him, buy another lawnmower, put another one of your boys on. So now you're in two places, even though you got three employees, two employees, which make a hole, because you get half of him, half of him. You get a hole plus yours, you got a whole hole. You got 200%. That's just cutting lines. And oh, after y'all done cutting lawns, you can go spend some of that money, get some weed, smoke some weed. Nobody can tell you shit because you Nothing. already did your, your job for the day. You got your money. You got it right way. You know, nobody can say nothing. You got you any could, old towels at the house? Okay, but watch this, watch this, watch this. $20. Go to Goodwill. Buy you some old towels. Drying towels, right? Cut them up. And go to the car wash and hang out. Sir, I'll, I'll drive your car. How much you gonna charge me? Whatever change you got. Just let me drive, help drive your car. If he gave you $2, $3, even if he gave you $3, it take you how long? Five, 10 minutes. Five or 10 minutes, do that times four. That's $18 an hour for washing, drying a car. $18 an hour. Then you could be you can, matter of fact, you can take, I can take $5 and make a grand within a week. $5. $5. You know why? I take $5 and go give you five black cans of spray, or three, three, two to three cans of spray paint. The dollar one, right? And go give me some stencils with the numbers. Paint people's numbers on the curb. Yeah, that's, that's a, e that's a easy hustle. Man, mm -hmm. I put a dude on with that. He started a whole business. Yep. Dos Pistoles uh, Salsa and all that. He started, Travis, do you want to come here, Travis? Yeah. He'll tell you, he came here and asked me for $20. I said, bro, if you ask me for $20, you need 40. Yeah. I said, but check this out. This is what I do. I take that money, go get me some spray cans, some stencils, and start hitting these people. And the way you sell it is, hey, uh, I see your street address is on, on, on the uh, house, but if we got it right here on the curb for emergency purposes, they can see you a lot easier. Mm hmm we're talking about saving your life within a matter of seconds. Well, how much? $10. $10, that's it? Bam. Done. Yeah. The first can and didn't pay for it. And the first house that you start doing, then the neighbor comes yes. out. What are you doing? What oh, you we're, doing? we're adding the numbers on. We could do your house, Come too. Come on, man. Another $10. Before awesome. you know it, you're going down the street. Why you made yourself. Yeah. 
clean some windows. Pick up some cigarette butts. Yeah, but no, you too busy trying to get high. <laughs> Come on, man. I thought you had my blood. Yeah, anything like that, a little service. Look here, this guy right here. I started painting addresses on curbs. Mm -hmm. I just sat there and talked about it. You see, I just looked at that. I just looked at that. And I just told you about that hustle. I told you about the car wash. Come on, man. Come on. Too easy. Too easy. You. Come on. I thought you wanted something. These ten dollars doesn't sound like much, but the, the whole thing is that you gotta do a lot of them. And it doesn't take that long to do the numbers. You just pss, pss, do the next number. Pss, no. Dude, if you did if you did ten in a day at ten dollars a pop, that's a hundred dollars a day. And it took you what less than an hour. Come on, man. Yeah, and, and most people are gonna tip you too. Most people are gonna be like ten dollars. Oh, here's twenty. Just, you know. I don't know. It's easy to make money for sure, though. That's sad. What happened? I think it's sad. What is? My grandson ain't got the motivation to try to do nothing positive. Step outside the box, son. Okay, well, smoking weed ain't positive at 15 years old. Ain't shit positive about that. I'm just telling you what, what God loves, and that's the truth. I know your daddy shouldn't have told you, but he, he too busy trying to be your friend. I ain't your friend. I don't even like you. I love you, but I don't like you. That's for his that's his job is to like you. My job ain't to like you, my job is to love you. That's your friend. I'm not your friend. I'ma tell you the truth. Get your get your head out your ass and try to be something before it's too much. We're back, so yeah. Yeah. you guys out here spending years. Look here, this guy right the same dude said he painted on curves. He said it made two grand in a few hours. Two grand a couple hours. Pain curves. Yeah, I'm done. Let me check something out real quick. Real quick, watch this. How many houses? Estimate 478,221. Wow. At $10 a pop. Yeah, sounds good. Figure out how to do it first. I was just trying to go to the Arby's. Arby's? Yeah. I was just trying to go to the Arby's. I was just trying to go to the Arby's. I was just trying to go to the Arby's. I was just trying to go to the Arby's. I was just trying to go to the
the jail? Nah, got you where? Shit, no. <laughs> That's my grandson. I'm supposed to tell him, but he hard headed. <laughs> told his dad the same shit. He hard headed too. I got four kids. One is a, is a chef in Houston. Lives in Houston. He's a chef. Cole. Second one, his dad, knucklehead. Wanna go in and out of jail? Yada yada. They wanna listen to me? Try to give him three different businesses. He act like he ain't got no sense. My next son is Cameron. He's assistant manager at a bank, a yeah. credit union. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Got my a daughter. House and everything. Yeah. yeah. The house bigger than my house. Yeah. And then my daughter, she's an oral surgeon's assistant. What's wrong with that picture? Then the one, the one is a knucklehead. I'm trying to break a cycle. I want my grand man as my grandson. You know, instead of yeah, my grandson. <laughs> That's your grandson can't pull his pants up? Yeah, my grandson. Love him, but... I told my kids, I don't like none of y'all. I don't like you. I don't. I don't like you. I love you to life. Give you anything I got, but I don't like you. Yeah. Because we're not friends. Yeah, we're not supposed to be friends. We're not peers, you know what I'm saying? Oh, let's go kick it with my dad. You're not in no club, you come to my house and kick it. You know, we can we can have a good time there, sit around, and talk shop or whatever, yada yada yada. My kids come over every Saturday. Your daddy don't. But the two to live here, there's three here. Two two to live here, they're in my house every Sunday. Mm -hmm. Every Sunday. We kick it, we have a good time, yada yada yada. Take your wife, see you later, bye, have a good life. My job is done. My favorite saying was, what you gonna do? Well, Dad got a flat tire. I'm stuck here on the academy. Oh wow, what you gonna do? <laughs> Figure it out, bro. Yeah. You're a man now. You know what I'm saying? Do manly stuff. Mm -hmm. My my daughter-in-law. I told I told the, the father when he got married. I said you ain't gotta never worry about her. She gonna be taken care of. Cause I'll beat his brains out if he don't take care of her. Mm -hmm. That's his job as a man. You take care of her. Make sure your wife doing they doing their thing. I always ask Tom, is he doing good? Yeah. Pops, he doing good. He, he doing real good. Ain't mistreating you? Nope. Mm -mm. We don't have that. I tell him, my son, 32 years old. I'm well, finna be 32. I buzz his head all the way to the skull. Right now. And if I told him to do something, he better do it. Because at first, I, I'm not going to tell you nothing wrong. I'm telling you to benefit you. You know what I'm saying? Granted, you're a man, you do your own thing. But I'm going to teach you right from wrong. And as even as parents, you never stop teaching your kids. Your kids always still can learn something. You got them on a good path, but even me. I told her, I said, I'm grown. She said, but you always be my child. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? This is this is my blood. Look at him. That's my blood. I don't want nothing but the best for him, but if you don't want the best, how I want the best for you. Yeah. It's the same thing we were talking about the Afghanistan thing. You can only help so pe people yeah. so much. Or they have to help themselves. You gotta help yourself something. If they don't want it, you can't force it on them. So. Yeah, he come around here ask me for a job. He work behind the counter. What you know about the counter? You can learn. I just gave you three hustles just that quick. <laughs> now watch this. I wouldn't be surprised if his ass start hustling. I wouldn't be surprised. Man, that's a good ass idea. Let me go out here, get some old towels, and drive some cars out so I can go buy mm -hmm. some paint, do this, that, that, and the other. I wouldn't be surprised. Your ass gonna be sitting back smoking weed like, hey, where's Jake at? <laughs> what's your name? Okay. Oscar. Oscar. Yeah, hey, where? Oscar, you wanna hang out? Man, I'm busy. All right, man, I'll hit you up next week. Oscar out there hustling. How it go, man? Yeah. And then if you know your history, there's no way you put uh, any kind of weed to your mouth. I'm gonna cut the stream there. I'll be back tomorrow. We'll yeah. finish up the skulls and you know I mean? you know I mean? put the candy you know I mean? on it. It's in a penitentiary uh, so right hopefully now. you guys like that. And we'll see you guys. And now it's legal? But now it's legal. Because white dudes say, oh, yeah, it's, it's cool. We'll, we'll, we'll make some money off of it. Yeah, there's no way. If every time you walked in, if every time I walked in the door, somebody hit me upside the head with a brick, I'm not going in that door but one time. I'm cool. I'm not coming back. You let me know right now you don't want to do it. One thing they're doing is setting little traps for y'all. Little traps. Little traps. Let's see if you bite on this shit.
the the because once you get a record, the little white kid got a quicker path to, to doing what he got to do. You know, as a with a felony, you know you can get drug charges and all that stuff sealed. Did you know that? You know why you can get those sealed? 